These are beautiful days when heaven's alarm is trying to wake us up. Sleepyheads want to sleep. That's what we do best. I'm one of them. <laughs> I've been a sleepyhead in a long time, but I, I can't be a spiritual sleepyhead anymore because the sound of the great alarm of alarms has rung loudly and that is the sounding of the seventh trumpet first because the first is last last is first mankind was warned not to lean onto our own understanding because the bible was encoded um insofar as the seventh trumpet sounding first uh, if you read the book of Revelation, by the time you get to the seven trumpet, everything's destroyed. And the most glorious of all the trumpets is the seventh, because when the seventh trumpet sounds, the mystery of God is over, and all nations immediately become the Lord's. And that is the trumpet that has sounded first. If it was chronological people... Uh, by the time you got to the seventh trumpet, there would be nothing left, all total destruction of earth. So it's a good thing that the first is last, and the last is first, and that the seventh trumpet sounded first. And these are the days of Chrislam, when God has joined Israel uh, as Chrislam, uh, because they have inherited all the Christians and Islamics as uh, Isaiah 54, 3 foretold when they get their kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 because God is saying to them that he has now given all people his kingdom age covenant because the Lord is saying I will be your God you will be my people I will forgive your iniquity I will never remember it I will write my law and my love upon your hearts beyond that no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore saith the Lord God for all people shall know me from the least to the greatest and all people have because uh, if we are as a little child that is what we must be Christ said that we must be as a little child because the truth is that when our love is alive it is when it's in motion and when it's moving but we enter uh, into blasphemy of the Holy Spirit we let our love wax cold because love is always meant to always be loving. And if we let it die by unforgiveness, people, forgiveness is love and love is forgiveness. They are one and the same thing. So know that these are the days of the great re refreshing, the great restitution, the great restoration of Acts 3.21 has finally come uh, uh, to awaken all sleepers. If, 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 if Christ... Uh, if his restoration of Acts 3.21 does not happen, that word says he would be kept in reserve in heaven and could not return unto us. Um, so praise the Lord that he is the son of love and righteousness arising to destroy all the gross darkness of Isaiah 60 to reveal the fact that all people of the earth want unconditional love and yet no one is prepared to give unconditional love. You cannot have unless you give away. Love is not even love unless it is given away. So it's time to arise to the darkness of our own insanity that will finally be able to leave many like a puff of black smoke. And as the Lord's Son of Holiness arises with healing under his wings, he is bringing forth uh, his word in motion because his love is as living waters to in his glory shall cover the earth as waters cover the sea as grass cover the land as uh, sands cover the most desolate of deserts and lilies cover the ponds even as snow covers the himalayas and his honor and glory must be uh, raised up for all people of the nation but it is written unto those who will not embrace God's word of his glory over his love, peace, and hope unto all of those that will not do that. Instead, he would take a shit pie, Malachi 2, from uh, our rotten uh, food at uh, uh, fundamental religion teaches spiritual racism. Uh, and he says he would 
mush it in our faces of those standing against his glory because in these days it is revealed that the Lord has always had unconditional love for he says to all people I will be your God so let the intelligence now hear what the Spirit is saying unto all people of love the wise shall give their ears to hear what is said now in these latter days and as it is written in Jeremiah 30, 24, it shall be considered in these latter days that the Lord God is saying, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if my people will give me the desire of my heart uh, to arise in the brotherhood of love that he foretold in John 10 with him arising as the good shepherd over all the flocks of men and so time for people to understand uh, let the wise rest now in the casket of their minds to, to be keys to their hearts and let the smart come to see that the he whose works exceeds their wisdom their wisdom will endure if it goes beyond and transcends but he whose wisdom exceeds his works, his wisdom will not endure. If it doesn't go beyond his works, his wisdom will not endure. We must transcend because if our love does not go beyond the works of love that we should be doing, then our love cannot go on and it would die the death of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit if we let our love die. Many are going to say, Lord, Lord. He's going to say, I don't know you. You let your love light go out. You committed spiritual suicide because we are angels in the flesh. The glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former. First our last, the last our first. He said, Jesus, Isa Yeshua, the living word of God, that we are uh, gods. In John 10, I tell you, we are angels in the flesh. That is why Paul foretold that all the creation has been groaning with great uh, expectation for the end time revelation of who we are. That is why the word of God declares that we would be like the angels, sexless, neither male nor female, because that's exactly what we have always been. Children of light are we. So if we get that into our heads, this world will change. So therefore, the mighty, the mighty man will conquer his ignorance, and the rich are those welcoming the Lord's truest light of his foretold treasure of excellence, because he alone is the excellence of treasure, and he is our priceless pearl of great reward that has gone out into the deep. And he foretold who will come and bring the master's household meat before, while the master is still away. He foretold a mountain of meat in Isaiah 25. It is the latter day mountain of Isaiah 2 and Micah 4. There has never been another new mountain on earth, but I have built a brand new mountain. There's over 4,000 videos uh, at my channel and uh, no one on earth has done any more than a, almost maybe a third of that but it took him 10 years I've done it in one year triple so praise the Lord that he's calling deep calls unto deep and if we will hear the voice of love because he is the roaring lion of Zion and he's crying out louder all of our names as if we were the only ones and know that uh, his treasury of love is as manna in the wilderness for all those who will stop ignoring this ministry as it has been and shall be continued for a while. But as it was in the beginning, so shall it be at the end. And know that honesty is born of the eagle of the eons. And for that reason, our Lion of Zion, he is now roaring this. Thus saith our, the living word of God, the last divine religion is the same as the first non-religion where no man was lifted above another f for what they believed that will be the last religion says the lord so let the wise open the gates of their eyes and ears to learn 
says the Lord, for no longer shall the wise speak of the first things uh, first and the last things last. No more shall the wise speak of that. For the revelation of new inspiration of love is last, so that it will always be first among the nations, since all religions have never had anything to do whatsoever with man's salvation, says the Lord God. For we have been children of love right along, and all his love in all of us is the divine spark. Love is born of God, and no, we know him if we keep that on. Love is not of ourselves, that is him living in us. So let not your love go out. Keep the divine in you, holy and alive, moving as a child. Smile at someone today. And that is love in action. And don't be so hard on yourself. Because if you're walking two steps forward and one step back, you'll always still be going in the right direction. So praise the Lord. It, it, the, the spirit of love is now stressing this. Let the just know by love's guidance that together there has been evidence of the spirit's uh, intervention uh, over the earth. And it will not be pow by power nor by might, but by the spirit of love, saith the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, uh, so that Jesus will be able to cure this world, uh, its lovelessness, by his love, regardless of people's religion, as all people accept the divine love that he sends for all those willing not to be as shallow as a glass of water. And so it's time that people will stop looking at him as being a respecter of men because uh, uh, that is totally untrue. And so the dove says that uh, it's time that rock solid evidence from our majesty of majesties needs to be seen and heard because it is absolute proof that no religion has ever been necessary unto anyone ever being saved without love because such is impossible. Love alone is the salvation of each and every one of us because love is God living in us. And anyone, absolutely anyone calling my word of love untrue is committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And they do not believe in scripture that states that God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For our Lord God has saved millions of souls for thousands of years before any religions ever existed. He has always only looked upon the heart. And just as he has saved those of love back in the early days when no religion existed without any written religions whatsoever, so too does he now save anyone of love, regardless of whatever they have believed, and he receives all glory. And so it is true that because God is love, and Jesus is love, and they are one in love, so too is it true that for our beloved, who is the blessed, the beloved, and the adored, uh, that our love so loved the world that he gave his only begotten love. So whosoever would love and keep theirs alive should not perish, but have everlasting love and everlasting life evermore. So praise God. It's time for his glory to fall. And know that these are the days of uh, Elijah, the days of the latter day Daniel, the days of Shiloh of Genesis 49 12 whose eyes are red and dull of wine that was never uh, Jesus as an alcoholic people he was never a drinker so wisen up there Heimer Weisenheimers Weisenheimers all over the world and it wasn't Jesus in uh, Isaiah 49 4 either who did everything in vain he never did anything in vain he knew he was going to join all the world together by Chrislam which is his word of Isaiah 62 two, to Israel that they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. So in these days of the latter-day Daniels, now that they have finally manifested 
Uh, the dove of lo love from the Lord, the most regal eagle of the eons, the Holy Spirit, is now bringing forth the heaven-sent unity for all mankind that will embrace love and lift it up. And that seventh spirit of the seven spirits of God now says this. So listen, people. Let, let all have ears to hear what the Spirit says. For the spirit of love and blessedness says the unity of all people of love through our own efforts has always been in vain. For it has been our beloved, our blessed, and he who is the adored alone, our living Lord of love, Lord of always, alone who has made our impossibilities to, to be possible through his presence of love in motion moving. So let the wise be uh, confounded by such a foolish idea that anything could be of us. For the message of love from our Lord of always is the prophesied intervention that he spoke of in Matthew 24, 22. He said that unless these days were cut short, no flesh could be saved. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing on earth can stop uh, and cut time short except for God's word in motion and only unconditional love that he is now unveiling can do that. No more shall we look through a glass darkly only knowing in part, only seeing them in part as it has been. Now we may shine as the stars that we were fearfully and wonderfully created to be higher than. And as long as possible, I will talk with anyone um, that desires to hear the Lord's word of command coming forth, uh, for he is speaking forth the wind and fire of his power, and all shall be accomplished, not by power nor by might, but by his spirit of love. And know that whosoever wants to be first must initially become slave unto all. And so it's time that we now understand that Christ's faithful few need to know that only now can there truly be true unity amongst mankind because finally the word of God has been proven to hoist up the flag of equality of all mankind as properly interpreted here at this channel for the Kingdom Age alone. This is the only Kingdom Age channel that will ever be. So know that it's time that uh, Jesus Christ Almighty, uh, uh, he has torn the canons of all the world and uh, that is the shattering of the power of the holy people. His word had to open for his message that he wrote, his inspiration of Malachi 3.1. Uh, that is his word of his new covenant coming for all people to kick down all barriers that have been between people and between uh, people of the different holy books so that all people might stand together as one because we have always been one. Other than this, it's only sheer insanity um, to stand against if we will not obey what the Bible has directed all mankind to. For in these days of the harvest early beginning, the Lord Jesus Christ has manifested the word of Amos 9, for he alone is the uh, sower of the seed of his love, who has overtaken his reaper, who I am, Elijah. Uh, because Christ is the risen lamb, who is now the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. So thus saith our Lord of lords, as it was in the beginning, so is it now at the end. For my wind of blessedness of love uh, has come forth now to cause the spiritual restoration of the world from the very tip of Gabriel's whitest wing uh, by the spirit of Elijah and Moses, who will yet still come if this world will not listen to this inspiration. 
uh, that shall sweep the earth as a wild fire of his refiner's fire, while bringing forth a blazing inferno of the Lord's most fervent fires of his justice, his peace, and his mercy. So know that those who are born of love, uh, many will say, Lord, Lord, and he'll say, I don't know you. And the Lord will, will, will say, the faith saves nobody. Love saves everybody loving, says the Lord God. For there is only one love that loves unconditionally, and it is the love of divine love that all of us have had as a little children. And we need to get that back. This is the kingdom age love. And as the obedient people obey the Lord's Spirit, the Lord says, they will come to see that all religions uh, are are as needed as none were. All religions on planet Earth are as needed as none were in the beginning. No, no religions were needed, just love. It's time to just have a little love. It's time to shelf the religion and just start loving people. And uh, for all, all, only those of loved are saved. Uh, the, the gospel truth is that in the vineyards of heaven, all get paid the same wages at the end of the day as the Lord's parable uh, says. And that is the truest truth that restores all things. And uh, for the Lord has never had any respecter. He's never been a respecter of people, never having had favorites. So nor could any religion ever save the unloving people, just as religion can't save those whose love is on because they're already saved. And as Daniel 12, 9, 4 saw, I, whose name is Daniel, I am the latter-day Daniel, the messenger, and I now proclaim that I am now standing in my lot within the Lord's house of beloved, uh, on the house of his prophets, as I embrace my destiny of causing the religious people of the world to realize that love, his love, God in all of us, has always transcended all religions. And for love is the Lord's secret weapon of his design, and his arm has never been too short that it cannot save. And he saves all of those who keeps uh, their love alive. So praise the Lord, and it's time that we come to, to the close of this video, but uh, it's time that we understand the truest truth that <sighs> we all got egg in our face, all people of religion. So it's time to take off your hat and keep it by your heart and realize we all have desolate heritages. And it's my job, according to Isaiah 49, 8, to restore unto the world that which has been messed up. So it's time to light the candle of true revelation that has come uh, by the Lord himself. It's all been sealed up until this time of the end. And the Lord needed another Daniel to interpret, wrongly interpreted uh, prophecy so that this world can get ahead. So praise the Lord, that is what has happened. And so it's time to light the candle of hope because it is the candle of love and it is the candle of peace and it is going to come by love one heart at a time. When anybody has yelled, peace, peace, but this is his word in motion. So shall it be that God has his way in the storm of mankind's spiritual racism and lovelessness, and his love will be the light that will lead the way, and the light of one little child will lead us all into the kingdom age, and one shall become a great nation of people who love. So it's time to, to, to let our fires go 
right to the top. Let that love become passionate and burn. These are the days that will burn as an oven, as the prophet Malachi foretold, when even our very religion is ripped apart if we will believe to God's honest truth that even Satan has now been removed for a thousand years in, in accordance with Daniel 12, 1. Because the first is last, the last is first. Satan was the accuser of the brethren day and night before the Lord. And because of that, it is absolutely true that he had to be removed or else he would have made God into a liar. Because day and night he was always accusing us. And until you understand, I'm going to do something here. Uh, until you understand the first is last, the last is first, you, no one can understand prophecy at all. Uh, this is uh, the new Jerusalem. Take a picture of it, and you can see it. Just uh, uh, Google New Jerusalem, NASA, and it is a beautiful city, celestial city on the edge of the universe. And uh, so... <laughs> Make sure you check that out. But it's one of the last things that was to come. And because it is one of the first things. And uh, in the same way, the seven trumpets sounded first. Because the first is last. And the last is first. And all nations have now become the Lord's. So, hey, let the jubilee of jubilees begin. Because in these days of Elijah, we can put all the lights off. And we can turn off the music and we can just celebrate one thing that in this hour of his power that we can let all the spookiness of spiritual spooky spirituality go the way of lobster men and uh, boogeymen in our closets as we just concentrate on his light of love so WWJ do, what would Jesus do about love? So I ask you to get it in motion like never before. Love y'all. Bye.